Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kaylee. I am a reseller of clothing. Today I wanted to share with you an app that I've been using called Photofuse. It has really helped to bring life to my photos and it makes for a really, really fantastic stock photo. This app is free to use, although you can purchase premium on it. I just use the free version. And I also use other apps in my reselling business for photography, but just this one I wanna show you today. like about this app is you can pretty much use it from anywhere. I have a white table over here and that is where I do a lot of photography for my shoes, belts, little things that can just sit on a table. You can do that basically anywhere. Some downsides to using this app is it is a little bit more time consuming and it also does not work well for items that are completely white. So what this app is gonna do is basically take the complete background and turn it white and just highlight your item and show only the item so you've got a blank canvas and your buyer can see exactly what they're getting. Also, another benefit is according to eBay and according to Google, your item will show up better in search results on Google if you have a completely white background. Now, eBay does have their own background remover, or I think it's called the background eraser that they just came out with and launched. Um, I personally don't like that. It doesn't work well for me. This is another alternative and a better option. And although I think it does take a little bit longer, you get such a better result and you have uh, more controlled editing tools to be able to get exactly the kind of photo that you're looking for. All right, so I am going to start photographing some of my items. I'll show you some of the different angles that I take, and then I will show you how to use PhotoFuse so we can get a really great cover photo. All right, guys, so I quickly wanted to say that overall with my setup, my pictures are already pretty decent, but that's because I have a lighting kit. So I have umbrella lights pointed at my white backdrop and I've got this hanging. If you don't have any of that, that's fine. You can still totally do this. I choose to have mine hanging with um, the hanger. I want the hanger showing in the picture. So I choose to put it with a hanger. If you don't want a hanger, I would suggest doing a flat, flat lay because no matter what you do, you're going to see part of the hanger. So you can do it with a flat lay. You can do it this is a huge mess over here, but I've got a white table. Sometimes I do it there. Um, as long as you have a plain flat background, you could do it with a wrinkly old white bed sheet or a tablecloth. Just make sure that you've got something pretty blank. All right, so as you can see, I am in my pictures. You can see some of the angles that I took. Um, Usually when I use PhotoFuse, I'm only doing the cover photo and then maybe the second photo. So I'm not gonna edit everything that you see here, but just wanted to show you some of the angles that I'm using. So right now I'm gonna go over to the app PhotoFuse. All right, so I'm opening up PhotoFuse. And you can see here are some of the older ones that I've done. Um, I didn't show you shoes today, but this is what shoes can look like if you use them through the app, which I really like. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of those because I have no reason to really save them. They've already been put through list listings. Okay, so one thing I want to mention before you start PhotoFuse is to go to the settings. And on your settings, you really want to make sure that you have this downloaded, the auto download to photo gallery. If you don't, you will have to basically after you edit the photo, you'll have to go and download it to your gallery. But if you check this option to auto download to photo gallery, every time you edit one, it will automatically save it to your phone. So I would definitely do that um, just to save time. Okay, so going back to the PhotoFuse screen, we are going to add a photo. So I hit add, I'm gonna hit photos. And let's see here, which ones do we wanna use? We'll do a top first, so we'll choose this one. 
So this front shot would normally be my main photo anyways. So all you need to do is take your finger and start highlighting around the edge and then it automatically kind of fills it in for you and then you fill in the rest. You can see that you can also choose the eraser if it gets too much, but honestly that little bit isn't going to make a big difference. If you want the shadow to be highlighted, some people like shadows in their photos, you would want to highlight the whole shadow so that it would capture that. I don't want that, so this is um, as, about as much as I'm going to do, and I'm just going to hit finish. So while that's uploading, I'm going to hit another photo, and we'll just do the back one of that. Now you can do this with every photo, but as you can see, it could get pretty time consuming. Um, so I choose to usually do the first and the second. And actually right now I'm using another app, Adobe Lightroom, to bulk edit my photos. They definitely don't get as crisp and as white as this does, but it does save me more time. But whenever I really do want a nice, bright, clean stock photo like this, I always use Photo Fuse. So you can see the first one we did is saved now and this is what it looks like and then this one just got finished as well. So you can see you can keep going as it is loading. We'll go ahead and do a pair of pants now. So again, I personally just highlight the border, let it fill in the rest. You can see it's not really catching my hanger, and if it only catches some of the hanger, I feel like it's gonna look a little strange. So I always make sure to highlight the hanger, and I'm just gonna hit finish. Go ahead and do the back of the pants. Again, do it how you want. I prefer to get the outline. If you need to clean up anything, you can do so with the eraser. And then if you do want the hanger in the photo, make sure that it does highlight those little parts. So here you can see this is how the front of the pants turned out. Really clean, really crisp, hardly anything wrong with it. Again, you could do this without a lighting kit um, and just make sure you're in a well lit area and it's just really going to bring your photo to life. We'll do one more. Here I want to kind of choose just show you what would happen if you're doing something that's white. So this doesn't really work well for something that's white. Even if you're putting it against a darker background to bring the contrast out, it kind of just blends in with the background. So I'll try to show you this here because this isn't really great for it. So you can see it's not even really catching it. So we'll even try to clean it up a little bit. You can see it's just not even picking it up. Okay, we'll just see how that looks. Go ahead and let it load. While that's loading, I'll go ahead and do another one that has some white in it, but not completely, and just show you the difference of how they turn out. So you can see this one has quite a bit of white, but it has other colors to kind of pick it up. So we'll go ahead and fill that all in. I'm just going to clean it up a tiny bit. So here is the first one. You can see that that's just completely white like washed out you can't even tell what the item is so for that reason I choose not to um, use photo fuse for uh, this option so I'm just going to delete that one and then here you can see ooh, no we don't want to delete that here you can see um, because it has some other colors kind of bordering it um, it shows up a little better so I just wanted to show you those two options and that is how you use photo view. So you can see these are saved in my gallery. That one could go bye bye. Um, and then you could just go through and, and if you do that setting that I showed you, it automatically does that. Now, if you don't choose that auto download, you would have to click into each one and save the photos or click save down here. Um, and then wait for it to download and go through and do, do each one. So make sure that you go in if you are planning on using this and selecting that auto download option.
All right, guys, so that is how I use PhotoFuse to get a really nice stock image without having to search for a stock photo online. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Drop a comment down below if you have used PhotoFuse and tell me what you think of it. Or if you use a, another editing software, drop a comment down below. Let me know what that is so I can give it a try. Again, there are other apps that I am using to take photos to bulk edit, and hopefully I'll be doing a video on those soon. So make sure that you subscribe if you want to be notified when those videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.